Hey everyone, on today's Smart Robots Review, I have my guest host Sandy again. Hello. And we're going to be talking about Kiki, the friendly robot Kickstarter project that looks really cool. Stay with us. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics, fantastic tech, and science from around the world and out of this world. I'm your host, Elias, and today I have my special guest host, as always... Sandy. Sandy's here to help me review Kiki. Kiki. What's Kiki? Kiki is, according to the website, a cute robot that learns from you. It's on Kickstarter um, and doing incredibly Mm. well. They have a goal of $100,000, and they're well over 80% of the way there already with a month left to go. So they're probably going to meet their goal. I would think so at this point. Looks really cute. Yeah. How about we watch the video? Yeah. Sounds All right. good. All right. So here we go. Geeky. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of reading about this, a little research. Kiki was dev- developed by a team of creators from Google, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, and Berkeley. Mm. Um, it's created for those who can't manage a real life pet, but still want to care for or raise something that's just as much fun. Okay. Um, so Kiki has the ability to, to positively affect the lives of a whole slew of different people. Mm. Um, she understands what you're feeling. Um, she encourages empathy. She's older as she. Yes, that's well, the website calls her a she. Mm. They keep calling well, her she, have, so. I don't know. Could be a he too. See, blue ears, but then pink ears. I, you know, I think it's up to you. It's okay, whatever you right. want to call her right. <laughs> or it. She understands what you're feeling. She encourages empathy, and she has a personality that grows every day because she has an AI personality engine. Oh yeah, I read about this. So it's using deep learning mm-hmm. to collect the data, and then pro- after it collects the data, it processes it, tries to understand your feelings and your expressions and try and react to you. Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing. And Kiki is also able to develop different traits depending on how you interact with her. Oh look, it's reacting to the other robot. Yes, they can interact with each other. They can interact with um, pets. They can interact with any number of people. I've seen this scene before. It's there for you when you come home. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I've heard that so many times from different robots. I love this too because she grows with you. Um, The the more you care for her, the more you interact with her or him, (laughs) Um, the more important you become to Kiki, yeah. and she expresses this in, in lots of different ways. Um, Conscious, it's really cool. Psychic, zoetic AI. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, so 83% funded with 29 days remaining. It's pretty good, and a really impressive considering that um, the price to back one is $799. That is not cheap. Nope, it's not. But people are backing it. I guess so. I, I, we would love to review it for you if you send us one, so I think, yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, no, seriously. Send us one. Or two. We'll do a good job. I promise. So, <laughs> um, so there it is. Really cute. It's got, obviously, a bubble head movement. Mm-hmm. Um, I noticed it, uh, it has some side-to-side movement. So mm-hmm. it's has a... She doesn't move around. She yeah. stays stationary, but she has movement within that. Okay. Why do we create Kiki? A little guy there. That's there to greet me when I come home. Of course, a, like a companion, I guess. Yeah, idea. well, like a pet. I don't know if it's yeah. going to teach your kids responsibility. Hey, clean your room! <laughs> well, no, but you, you care for Kiki. Okay. You feed her, you take care of her, and if you stop interacting with her for long enough, she gets mad and ignores you. You feed her? She gets, That's right. Yes. You use a tablet, you, there's an app, and you can feed her using the app. It's, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. You, you can draw foods on the app and feed them to her, and she's picky. Yeah. She'll decide what she wants to eat and what she doesn't. Sure. And if you feed her the same thing all the time, she gets tired of it. <laughs> uh, what is that digital money called? Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I'll feed her some Bitcoin. Maybe he wants my Bitcoin. <sighs> all right. So let's see, uh, we created Kiki for those that can't manage an animal pet, but want to care for and raise something just as delightful. <laughs> we created Kiki for those who want to embrace the future with a new kind of robot. It's not a new kind of robot. I hate to yeah. tell you, but you know, there there have been many tries in the past to release a robot just like this guy, if anybody has heard of Jimbo. or well, not Jimbo, Jimbo, it might as well be a Jimbo. But Jimbo, Jimbo and no. uh, that was Curry, Curry. 
Curry, you disappointed me. You, you broke my heart. I was a, <laughs> I was a backer. All right, we'll tell you about Curry and Jimbo in a minute. But let's keep looking here at this guy. Um, all right, cute little pictures. Yeah, me, Kiki. Cute robot to take over your heart. Oh, it's cute. He is. He's really cute. Every time I see it, it's just you know, mm. aw. That's <laughs> yeah, very cute. She's very sweet, and she actually. Oh, this this picture reminds me. She starts out as sort of a baby. Mm. She she gets shy. She whines. She cries a little bit because she doesn't know you yet. You have to introduce yourself. You have to get her used to being around you, and then she becomes a lot more social and open to you. She does the same thing with strangers. According to the website, she she gets very shy and sometimes even protective of her owner. Um, she'll even growl and bark in a way at strangers <laughs> if they come up to her owner um, until she she learns that it's okay for that person to be there. Just kind of like a real puppy. We've seen this before. So this is a robot that I think has to succeed. This campaign has to succeed because it's been attempted before, and those other projects did not go as well. Um, and this is a this is going to be a stepping stone towards the next evolution of robots. I think the ones that move around, the ones that follow you around, yeah. are truly a uh, more versatile companion. Yeah. So let's go over the skills. Uh, it looks like it recognizes you. Mm -hmm. So facial it recognition recognizes hundreds of people. Okay, so we've seen that before. But this is the part that's interesting. Understands your feelings. That's right. <clears throat> and I think here is where if the deep learning capability of the robot is any good. Um, this part will shine. It looks like they've got some pretty good tech for it. I mean, Kiki will, it'll look for your facial expressions as well as listen to the tone of your voice. Oh, okay. So there's, there's multiple ways she's sort of looking at trying to figure out how you're feeling and then she'll react accordingly. She'll try mm. to cheer you up if you're sad. She'll uh, pretend to sneeze or tell, you know, do something funny. And if she gets a reaction that's positive from you, she'll do it again. Right. And if she doesn't, she'll try something else. So this is the scary part. Yeah. <laughs> some other kikis. So if they all get together... They might take over the world. That's right. <laughs> okay. So, um, personality shaped by you. So I guess it will... This goes back to the deep learning. All right. Loves you back. Okay. That's expected. Uh, designed to surprise you. Okay. So new stuff every day. Um, Real-time onboard intelligence. I don't know what that means. Um... Does it dial home? Um, Can you, I, don't you, think I didn't see anything so. about it connecting to another server. No, so. and it does not save anything to cloud or anything like that. Mm. Um, they, so they guarantee they say, safety and security. So all that data, how do you download updates to it? You got to connect with something probably. That's true. Well, there's an app. Okay. And they, they um, according to the website, they will be sending out regular updates through okay. the app. So through the app. Yeah. So yeah, at least it's not another. Um, smart device that you ask things. I'm not going to say the name because it will trigger her. But um, <laughs> starts with an A. Yeah, yeah. So it's probably not one of those little no. devices. So well, Kiki doesn't talk. Okay. She has sounds, lots of different sounds actually. Um, mm -hmm. And I uh, read somewhere on the website that she occasionally says things that approximate words. Um, but she doesn't actually talk. She doesn't have a vocabulary. She just has kind of a sound vocabulary that oh. she uses. So. Cool. so you can't ask it the weather or the news or oh, anything well, like that. Here we that, go. It's so. got uh, touch sensors mm -hmm. so you can interact Lots with of her. Them. Lots of them. They're all over the body here. I see. Display. I love to see some of the more details. Oh, here we go. So it uses this motor here, the yaw motor, to move right and left. Base motor for maybe the head. Oh, no, the, the pitch motor. Okay, here's so that's for the head right there. I wonder what the base motor does. Um, I think she can spin. Okay, that's the yaw she motor. Can, she can... Oh, okay. Um, base motor, that's interesting. Okay, I'm not sure. we'll find out. So there, you can send us one and we'll review we'll, it for we'll you. We'll discover. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, mics, omnidirectional mics. Mm -hmm. uh, she will turn to find you. Okay. Wherever you are in the room when she hears you. The body controller is down here. Okay. Very, very cool. Kiki learns journey of creating mm -hmm. Kiki. So it's another good video out there to watch. Adapts to you. This is what I was talking about earlier. She's yep. she's very shy and quiet mm -hmm. when she first um, meets you, and then as time goes on and you interact with her more, I think this is very interesting actually. Um, that 
she can she can develop unique quirks. Like each Kiki is going to be a little bit different mm -hmm. because it's um, learning from your personality, it's, right? It's absorbing your data. Mm -hmm. So she can she can show a lot of different personality traits. Like yeah. you can see here, you know, rebellious, intellectual, lazy, <laughs> affectionate, social. You know, every Kiki is going to have a different percentage of each of those types of traits, depending on how you interact with her or other people that are in your oh, home sure. too. Yeah. All right, so seems like a a good uh, robot to be like a basic companion at home, mm -hmm. uh, keep you company, something to keep you occupied for a while. But uh, what about other applications? What about well, as as someone who works in special education, this this is one of the reasons I was interested in Kiki because um, Kiki to me seems like it could potentially be a, a therapeutic tool in a way. Um, it would be a very safe type of device or you know something to for students to talk to without having to be without being judged yeah. or even you know kiki would just sit there and listen and if they were sad kiki would recognize that and try to cheer them up um it's also a chance to teach some emotional capacity and, and do some emotional education for kids say on the autism spectrum who have difficulty recognizing different emotions and things that. like that so um i mean i don't know for sure we obviously don't have one but if you yet. send us one <laughs> So, <laughs> but um, I can see, especially because it doesn't store information on the cloud or anything like that, so it's safe to use in the classroom. I mean, I, I if I had one, I would definitely take it in. Right? Yeah, yeah, I would definitely use it with my students. From students, no question. Okay. Um, okay, so it looks good now. They're like I said, they're almost there. They only met almost really met close. Um, this is a Kickstarter campaign, so they're trying to raise funds probably to build a production line and get the robot out and start making Yeah, there's a um, timeline okay. towards the bottom of the website. It explains, I forget, I want to say, you know what, I'm not going to even try to guess, but there is a timeline and there is a date for, oh, oh here it is. It is. Okay. Um, I want to say it's spring of this coming of 2020 that they're looking to hopefully release it to their okay. backers. That's um, interesting. 2017. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 2017 is when Curry was announced. So this is the part oh, that concerns me a little bit. And this is why I want this robot to succeed so much. So there were, so give you some background. So there was another robot called Curry. Um, here, I'm going to put up the website here. Mm -hmm. There's Curry. Uh, so this is a Kickstarter project that I supported and I had great hopes for. A lot of the similar, similar features with Kiki. Uh, it never made it to production. Past production, yeah. yeah. I just, they can can deliver. Uh, so I hope this one meets it. And then there's Jibo. Jibo was another project that did make it into production. They sold many units, but uh, they still uh, went under. Uh, so that's disappointing. So I'm hoping here, yeah, we need this robot to succeed. We need this robot to make it into people's homes, hopefully in a more uh, reasonable price. $800 is a lot. Much, it's a lot. <laughs> I have to tell you. Uh, and you have to get it into people's homes to um, to build a love for a product like this, a desire for a product like this. So um, I, have, I have high hopes, I'm hoping. Um, there we go, May 2020, Kiki May goes 2020. home with you. All right. And then, you know, assuming they are successful with the Kickstarter part, then I'm sure it'll be going for sale. Yep. Other, Indiegogo perhaps, or, you know, other sites. Okay. So there you have it, Kiki, a cute robot that learns from you. <laughs> and, um... I don't know if, I'm not sure if we're recommending anything. All we're saying is, good luck to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks great. It looks Yeah, I hope it does potential. really well. Uh, I... If you send us one, we'll, <laughs> we'll give it a closer look. But um, in the meantime, um, good luck to you, Zoetic. And um, let's see what happens. I'm going to keep track of this. Yeah, me too. And um, sure. who knows if they sit. No, just... <laughs> that, that. Not so um, hint. <laughs> all right. Um, that's it. With that. I uh, hope you leave some comments down below. Share this video, please. If you love our content, share the video with your friends and family. You can click the share button. Uh, mm -hmm. Post it on Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want to post it on. Share it out there. It really helps us. Uh, it's, it's a pat in the back and uh, makes me want to make more videos. So, um, anything else? Uh, no, I think that covers it. All right. <laughs> well, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. Until next time, bye. Bye.